What's going on guys? Back out here on the G15 Canal and Plantation like in my last video. Just a small size one hook. We got some live shiners. We'll throw them on out there. Goal is peacock bass. If I catch an average medium sized snakehead, I'm probably going to take one of those home for dinner. So we'll start fishing over here by these bridge pilings and the weed lines. And let's hope we can get into some fish. Stay tuned. We got our shiner hooked up right through the back. I'm gonna start fishing right here by these uh, bridge pilings. It's a perfect cast right between them. Water here is moving through a little bit quicker than normal. So I don't know what, what that's about, but I don't think that should affect fishing. So now we wait and let's hope a fish finds this little guy. Fish on. Oh, it's a gar. I don't even know if he's hooked. Yeah, I guess he's hooked. Little gar. Not what we wanted, but first fish of the day, little gar. All right, first fish of the day, nice gar. Check out his head, and now look at this. Underneath, he's got a rusty hook from someone else a long time ago. Uh, it survived this long. It is pretty rusty, so that'd be there a while. But first fish of the day, little gar. Not what we wanted. Actually, look at this. All right, so he's got an eye on this side that I'm showing you. Now watch this. On this side, he has no eye. So I've never seen this before, but it's got one eye and it's got a hook underneath. So this guy deserves to live. We'll let him go and get back to fishing. All right, next shiner all hooked up. Fish around this bridge. I can usually pick up a fish here, but my last two times trying here, I was not able to get one. But there's gotta be a fish by the pilings. Good amount of structure here. Oh, actually, oh, I had another bite. That was quick. I don't know if it was a gar or what, but he took my little shiner. All right, let's get him back out there. Let's see if that fish is still there. Here we go, fish on. Had one nice head shake to start. What is this? I don't think it's a, what? oh, a snook. Saw a lot of silver. Oh, this is, this is gonna be my first ever snook. Come here, guy. Oh yeah, come here. First ever snook. All right, guys, check this guy out. My first ever snook. So not a big one by any means. And I don't know what species this is. There's four species of snook, uh, but whatever it is, my first one. Was not expecting this, even though I was hoping for it. But let's get this guy back in the water and let's get back to fishing. Nice one. So that was really cool, was not, not expecting a snook. I know that they're in here and I've hooked up with them before, but I've never been able to actually land one. So that's my first one. I'll find out exactly what species it is uh, later on. If you guys want to let me know, that'd be great. But I still got a whole bunch of shiners left. Let's get one more on the hook and let's see what else we can get. Hopefully we can beat that. Maybe not, my line got tight for a second, but I don't feel any weight on it. it. Might just be the shiner swimming away. This one for some reason is really lively. Oh, no, I got something on. What is, uh, what is this? What is this? I can't tell yet. Oh, peacock, little guy. Didn't even feel him bite. First peacock of the day, not a big one by any means. Barely even felt him hit. I, I saw the line get tight, but I felt no weight. Star started reeling, he was on the end. 
So cute little guy, but not too bad. Now let's try to get something a little bit bigger. Something picked it up. Fish on. Ah, oh, mine cichlid. I was wondering when I was gonna get my first one of these. Ah, oh, he's under all this grass. Let's get him up here. All right, by far my least favorite fish, the Mayan cichlid. Uh, I knew it was a matter of time until I got one of these and I catch these literally every time I fish, no matter how I'm fishing or where I'm fishing. Uh, but let's let this one go and then try to get into some more peacocks, snooks, or snakeheads. So I like this spot a lot. We've got this main canal here, but over here on the right, we got this side canal. And there should be, and there usually are, a lot of fish hanging out here in the middle, waiting for any smaller fish to come out of that canal so they can smack them. So I can usually pick up one or two fish here, see if that holds true today. Oh, felt a little bit of weight, but couldn't get the hook in. Shiner's gone. Probably another gar. Been losing a lot of shiners today to gar because it was so hard to hook. Something's picking it up. Something's got it. Oh, that thing. Oh, come on. That had to be another gar. That thing picked it up and just swam away. So I've lost probably six or seven shiners today to gar alone. It's a little annoying. All right, same spot. There we go, fish on. Uh, I think it's Mayan. Yep, so that's a waste of a shiner for this little guy. Yeah, so this little guy is definitely a waste of a shiner, but we'll let him go. I got one left, so I hope we can get a nice fish on that one. Feel some weight. I just don't know if that's a fish or not. I don't I don't think so. Oh man, did I snag my last shiner? Ah. Broke broke whatever that was off, lost my hook. Alright, that's gonna do it. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, as Jim Carrey said in uh, Bruce Almighty. So went through a dozen shiners here pretty quickly. Highlight of the day, without a doubt, is my first ever snook. That was awesome. Uh, no snake head, so it looks like I gotta go buy something for dinner tonight. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't show it all to you guys. That's just a waste of footage. But I only caught four or five fish on a dozen shiners, that's because all the other shiners I lost what I'm pretty sure are gar. So I caught one, but they've got very, very bony mouths, so it's really, really hard to get the hook to set inside of their mouth, unless it's like the bottom, like, like it was when I caught it. But usually you gotta give them a long time to eat, 
and I'm a little impatient because I don't want to gut hook any fish. So I'd rather risk it and hook them too early and pull the hook out of the mouth than too late and the hook end up being what in uh, the fish's stomach. So that's it for the day. I'm happy with the snook. Hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.